live by faith. In the past few months, our beloved nation had to endure the global pandemic COVID-19 and the aftermath of Tropical Cyclone Herald. In spite of it all, we choose to make a difference where we can. Whether it's traveling south to Kandavu Island to help affected families rebuild their lives, some of whom had nothing but the clothes on their back and a pitch tent for shelter, or visiting frontline personnel who worked tirelessly away from their families so we could be safe and sound with our loved ones. Whether we assisted our town councils and communities with charity work of any kind, or simply saved meals and items we would throw away to share with people on our streets and those who worked tirelessly through the nights. Help give and share with faith the little that you have to people around you. From those you just walk by every day to neighbors who silently struggle to put a meal on their table, the smallest things can make the biggest impact. Stay tuned to this episode as we learn more about Kingdom Principles Against All Odds. God, according to His word, will meet your every need. Hallelujah. You are worrying because you are serving a God you do not know. If you know this God, then you know what we are talking Again, about from this platform. He is a God against all odds. Which means that whatever that you're going through today, He is your God. It may be sickness, it may be financial loss, it may be any other things uh, that have been challenging your life today, whatever odds that you're sitting on, I would like you to believe and receive today that He is that God against all odds. Nisabula bina kana turanga na marama thorbo na ngone lewa e na mataka ni singa dinai Gods of on uh, send program it's so wonderful to greet you once again yeah. in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus yes. Christ so we welcome you um this wonderful that you are tuning in from your television or from Facebook page amen this wonderful morning we greet you bula bina ka in the mighty name of our Lord yeah. Jesus Christ to the leaders of our nation the um, excellency the president and the family the honorable prime minister and the family yeah. and all the ministers all the cabinet ministers and all the parliamentarian this morning if you are watching or if you watch later we take this time to welcome you into this program yes, the religious. god of our nation program. program and also we take this time every church uh, members in every denomination we take this time to welcome you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ from the village or from urban centers uh, we take this time to welcome you and also to uh, different denomination head of the churches and if you also watching uh, this program and normally uh, you send your appreciation uh, we take this time uh, for tuning into this program for New Methodist Christian Fellowship we take this time all the foreign churches from uh, UK, uh, England, uh, that means Wales and Scotland and uh, every uh, uh, zone that you are tuning today, we take this time to welcome you. Uh, yeah, it's a Mission Sunday Mission today, Sunday today yes. to the uh, overseas uh, church and also to the island church. We take this time to welcome you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your commitment, loyalty, passion and zeal. For the things of God. So we welcome once again the uh, all the foreign churches and also uh, the uh, island church. Australia, New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand, not forgetting you. Vanuatu. Vanuatu. We greet Tonga. you all the way from Fiji. Uh, we thank you for tuning in this wonderful morning. And not forgetting those who, that you are very early this morning, before 8, you already uh, tuning in. Yes. From uh, uh, Nakama and Sueni, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, Cuba, uh, in uh, Uto, uh, Bread of Life Worship Center. Uh, it's a special uh, um, uh, welcome to you because the first time you are tuning on to the Wallace, they just set up last oh, okay. two days. Yeah. So Talkalanga Sito and Rio are sending um, the pictures of people. For those of you that are members of the church or those of you that will watch later, remember, wireless platform is available, 250, you have a disc. So when you don't have a transmission, you don't need to. You can just go and buy 250 and that, that is. Uh, you can watch on wireless platform. So we take this time, every worship center and every zone. For the central, you have your, uh, what we call the Healing Sunday. The last Sunday of uh, this month, we also greet you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, 
for everybody that are actually uh, tuning in this morning, uh, more so for New Methodist uh, Mission Sunday today for the foreign uh, churches as Gasile has welcomed you as well as the island. We also would like to make a special mention to Auntie uh, Wesley uh, Gilmore all the way from uh, Newcastle and also Auntie Mariah from Sydney. Mm -hmm. And I believe most of the zone uh, in Australia and uh, in Europe are meeting on Zoom yeah. or having your service through Zoom uh, meeting uh, today. And for New Zealand, I believe you're all, uh, you know, are free to uh, meet as a zone, and you are also tuning in uh, this morning. Thank you to all the zone, all the Taltalangasi, and all the administrators that has uh, allowed, prepared, and uh, made it happen uh, for you to be ready and sitting for the Mission Sunday uh, yeah. service today. We came in the Yano, came the Menamo Kelao, Vambulani, we came to my silver, Nakabaka Lima, Nakabakara, Namataki Kua, we came to my Matuko, Matuko, Vacambola Tikani, Vitilevo, Vinakavale, we came to Vitoya, the Mazivia, Vonobalavo, Matuvala, my mother, Nakatanga Chitoko, I have Vonobalavo, Dombolivinaka, Matuvala, my own air, Flana, Kambara, communicate the Kuminisa. Tiko na wale si platform ni sa doc tuning tu mai ni baka budi minakatu mai kero sa bikin da baki tu gani malo baka lebo tuning tu mai we believe kero baka mbota mataka ni sini kwa na munway ni kena posi ni kero na wase ena non da baka tuto bata sa ganindo na baka kwekira we kemo ni talanga na vulangi tiko na we worship center kena we zone kete ni sa ganindo leo ni lotu ya ni 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 le tomani ra na ni umeza di sa we bali lotu zaba gani ba rongo mai kina na toro tiko na wana minango Bina kwa kwa lebo na semai, bina kwa lebo na makuto, na mailoto pata kikia ndani. Ni onana azuruki ndoto na mailoto, sa nonda pata mailoto tazo kwa malinga rafiti kwa kina, na kwa nitu rangi wa Jesus Kristo. Amen. Yeah, we will go through. Yeah, we will start with the Holy Communion today. Before we actually go through the process of Holy Communion, Angasile we will be praying over a gift that was gifted to the program and. Thank you to uh, Talangase uh, Tiko, EM Logistics, and Auntie Mariani um, and the family. Thank you to Kana. Thank you now. Uh, thank you, Christian. Uh, thank you for this uh, sitting uh, to uh, the program. And uh, we'll ask Gasselewe just to commit uh, uh, whatever that you have seated from this family. And all of us, please come in agreement because this is going to be uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, used for our God of Foundation program uh, beginning from next Sunday. So we'll ask Gasselewe to, to commit it to the Lord. The Bible says to honor the Lord with all of your wealth. Yeah. yeah. So this is one thing that people, uh, they normally buy things for God. Mm -hmm. Instrument, the tent, the, mm -hmm. the cars, vehicle. But uh, today is a Holy Communion uh, facility. Eh? Lord, we commit these yes, uh, Father, cups and you. also the holders of the cups. And uh, yeah. we thank, thank you, Father, for the heart in the family. Taltalangasitiko and Randin Taltalangasi. And all the children. We thank you, Father God, for of the seed into this program. Thank you, Lord. God of our nation, and normally uh, we conduct uh, Holy Communion, yes, or this uh, sacrament duty. And we thank you, Father God, that you will open more doors. You, you will provide ways. You will make their buns in abundance and overflow. Thank you for blessing into their life. Yes, Lord. Because they thank are not you. doing it to the organization. They are not doing it to the leaders. They are doing it to you and your work. And we thank you, Father God, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. We bless all this in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father Amen. God, for the abundance and the fruitful abundance, 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, we commit all these things. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen and amen. So once again, we take this time as we are getting ready to have our Holy Communion. And uh, if you're sitting as zone and, and worship center or you're sitting as family, this is the most wonderful moment that we will uh, yes. eat uh, bread together. And, and also partake the wine. Partake the wine. Yeah. And uh, as Jesus said, this is the time uh, that he reassured to the disciples that he will be always with them, mm -hmm. regardless of the situation that you're going through. Our God is close to us than the clothes that we wear. Yeah. And wherever you are, in church, in your office, in your home, in your living room, in a hotel room, wherever mm -hmm. you are, and you are ready to partake, and for those of you that are not partaking, but you are with us mm -hmm. in spirit, 
we assure you, my friend, that the God that we serve, Emmanuel, is there with you. Yes. And whatever we commit this morning, uh, I believe that God will commit it with us. Remember the bread represents his body and the wine represents mm. his blood. Holy Communion is the covenant. Uh, for those of you that are tuning in today uh, for the first time, or those of you who do not believe in God, or for those of you who may not understand what we're doing today, we have started this during COVID-19 uh, uh, period. And uh, for those of you that goes to New Methodist uh, Christian Fellowship, um, you know, you don't need any explanation. You know exactly what we are doing this morning. Uh, we can, I would like us as we go uh, towards our Holy Communion today for you to make a covenant with God. You may be listening in. You don't need to be part of the church. You don't need to belong to this church. Uh, you just need to believe that there is a God. Mm -hmm. You need to know that uh, there is a God who, who, who gives you the breath of life and gives you a good family. Uh, there is a greater God, you know, uh, who is the creator of the whole universe. So as you're listening mm -hmm. today, we can the worship center, can the tune in to make in so we can the so call which we matter wale na matak ni singa binak ni ko aw na binak ta men da la ko nan da holy community ni ko men da approach the throne or e ko ngole mai mo ngole mai bona no muturang e na yalo bakambota ke na yalo me ko bakambota na matin yelo ni ko ero ni the cover um anything for you na matak ni ko aw na binak ta na ngone da na me the cover ke no the holy community ke ba ka tiko ba tiki ko do na no pa ba ke no pen if you have a, uh, a paper or a pen you have a journal or you have a diary uh, and it's there with you I need you to to write down things that are there in your heart uh, for him you know things uh, that uh, no one else can help you even uh, your husband beside you or your wife beside you uh, no one else can help you uh, you know the unthinkable things the thing that you you look and you know you know I, I don't know where to look I don't know how to get it um, but get that list and write it down. If you're not accessible to any pen and paper, I need you to bring it close to your heart and your mind for you to, you know, match up uh, because you're standing in, in the presence of God at this moment. So we are going to be partaking of Holy Communion and I need you to be ready with mm -hmm. it. Uh, worship centers, you can get your uh, people ready. And for those of you uh, zones that are on uh, Mission Sunday all over, meeting on Zoom, uh, wherever you are from your home, I will need you to be ready uh, with your Holy Communion uh, this morning. And Holy Communion this morning, like what I said, you need to write, pen it with faith and believe, believe. that this God can do exceedingly abundantly Absolutely. anything and everything uh, that you've ever hoped for, for you to believe that there is a God. Because faith, you know, uh, pleases God. And not only please God, but you need to believe that he exists. You need to believe that there is a God. You need to believe that there is another power out there um, then by the name of Jesus that's going to, you know, give into your need and heal your sickness. You know, you may be sitting on a lot of things this morning. Yeah. It doesn't uh, stop you or your list doesn't uh, uh, stop where your need is. Uh, it can be sickness. It can be certain things like what I said, uh, the impossible. I need you as we approach this uh, Holy Communion uh, for you to believe, you know, believe uh, in the unbelievable, uh, for you to receive what you cannot believe. You know, you you look and you cannot believe what you, you're looking at yeah. and you receive the impossible. The things that uh, you, you thought that will you know, cannot happen. It will, in, yeah, it will happen. In Jeremiah 32, 27, he said, I am a God of all mankind. What can I not do? Yeah. You know, Luke 1, 37, he said that with him, nothing is impossible. With your God, nothing is impossible, which means anything and everything he makes possible for you. But you need to, to meet him at the crossroad. You need to believe in him. You need to have faith in him. So whatever that you're standing on this morning, I will need us to come and approach the throne together because you're approaching him on your terms, on your heart, on everything that you have uh, within you. Like what I said, you can have your mortgage that is out there that you cannot pay. Or you have your loan your, payments. Your work. Your work, your, uh, children, your children, your education, uh, yeah, and you people. know, praying for your promotion in a workplace, or you have been released from a, you know, a company, and you're still looking out there for another opportunity to work, and uh, maybe even your children, you haven't even, you know, uh, gotten them ready uh, to the way that you want them to be ready. Uh, certain things that you lack, and you you're sitting there that nobody else understood, and you don't know where else to look. This is your moment with your God. You need to start believing uh, the unbelievable for you to receive.
uh, the impossible today. And you need to raise your level of faith, uh, believing in this God. Uh, your mortgage, your payment, your loan, uh, receive. Uh, you know, don't ever even bother to, to drain your energy by thinking, how is he going to do it? Allow God to do what he needs to do. You allow yourself to be ready where God can meet you today. So, And, and the key is you approach the throne with faith. Amen. And when you come and have your Holy Communion, it is a time of supernatural. The supernatural of God. Amen. It's not a time that we just do the sacrament duty and that's it. Just because the program of the church. Yeah. No. We are approaching the throne and the supernatural of God. What God can do. That's, that's it. You are approaching this God. The Amen. supernatural that can happen to you. In the olden days, the Israelites, they approach the throne when there's a sacrifice on, on the altar. But our sacrifice is Jesus Christ who already Amen. done it. So when we approach him this morning, he said, remember the bread represent my body and the wine represent the blood. So he's on the altar right now. And that means you can boldly say, Abba, Father. Amen. So bring everything to him. Hallelujah. Bring everything and believe that God will bless you. I will look after the bread and she will look after the wine. So let us eat together. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for this yes, bread. Father. Represent your body. Yes, Lord. The things that happen to your body, allow us to go into supernatural yes. realm. And we thank you, Father God, for this wonderful morning. Bless the bread as we partake together this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us partake together. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We praise your mighty name. Thank you, Father God. We thank you. Open yes. doors and opportunity. Yes, Father. We thank you, Father God. The promises, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. You come to give life, and life abundantly, because we believe the supernatural that we receive today. Hallelujah. And now, ready for the wine. As you hold your wine um, with you, which is the... Um the reflection of his blood for us to remember him by. So wherever you are standing or sitting, on a kiri kenda menda na doa bata wana turangan yenda na mingunu bata na vika wakabuli vako ebe kenda menda na noma kena na nona nra na mata isi nga vina kandikua ko kero wa se tiko na kaiko baka na noma iko lako dhu roma tiko na kaiko na noma sa seka nindu ane kene wali na mata kandikua iko dhingomba na baka mbote ni noma kalo koro nye vaka a veke mwini na wani buli ni baka roma tiko my some school children are actually a part of the program today is to sit there with your family Sengi kambiaka ni tozoka na kai vale Sengi kambiaka na kakande vale Sona kai Baka iko kai Sengi ni tozoka na mulaku ibuli Na mataka ni sengi vina kandi kwa iko mwa baka mbota Se sona kai baka lendere ndere viko Iko ribuli sandende iko nge laku ibuli Baka iko struggle iko ribuli Mataka ni kwa iko baka mbota Ni nomu kalo koro nye the cup Esa vikenda simere tozoka na nonda uniform Na nonda baba ni buli Nonda bag Na nonda ya ni buli Iko masu na baka mbota na mataka ni kwa Esa wibali iko ronga vetuga na vitala no adharo Vibala tunga o naketa Esa Sengi nindu wana talano vina ke ronga ibale Lebo nangona iko tangi Lebo nangona Sengi na kakana iko kanina bimbongi Iko mwadi na lale ni kitemu Na nikuwa Iko baka mbote wana nungu turang Hallelujah So for those of you That are tuning in from um, abroad And if, if you are part of the program this morning There are certain things that you have decided to do in your heart And I believe uh, through the uh, conviction mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit I need you to come with us today And uh, let us come together And believe and receive That all those things can come to pass So let us commit this uh, wine. Uh, Father, we just commit uh, the wine that is the reflection of your blood, oh Father. Uh, we commit it unto good hands. Lord, you're going to breathe on it, O breath of the living God. Allow this blood, oh Father, to cleanse us from the strength of our head to the sole of our feet. Allow the power of your blood, oh Father, to be our covenant keeping today. Allow the covenant of Father keeping blood, oh Lord Jesus, to uh, bring to pass answers, oh Father. Answers to, to all those prayers, oh Lord Jesus. Lord, I just commit to your Father. The everyday living, the struggles that they face every day. Lord, I commit them unto your good hands, so Father. Lord, we decree and we receive, oh Father, together today with them that you're going to allow the power, Lord Jesus, you're going to breathe on this blood, of 
Father, as we bring and partake, mm. that you're going to be, you know, exceedingly and abundantly are provided to every household. And we receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Let us partake. Lord, thank you. We come in agreement, we receive, we believe. Receive, receive. All these things, Father, that we have. I stand in faith. Father, you've done it, and you will do it again. And we receive, oh, Father, you've done it to our lives today. To the family, to the children, uh, to the mothers, so oh, Father, that are going through a hard time at home, uh, looking for food. Uh, to the fathers, oh, Lord Jesus, trying to find work, oh, Lord Jesus, to bring uh, resources back to their family. To every household, to everyone <inaudible> who believe that you live, oh, Lord. We just commit them to you today, that we receive a oh, Father, whatever that they stood for today, whatever that they believe on, Father, today, whatever promises of oh, Father that they hang on to your word today, we receive them done, and we believe that it's done. In amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. So wonderful. Remember, my friend, there is no mountain that is too high that you cannot climb. There is no valley that is too deep that you cannot go through. Hallelujah. There is no storm that is too strong that you can sail on. Because our God is a God can turn impossible to yeah. possible. And I believe that when we partake this morning, God is there. Hallelujah. In the island. Yes. In Vitilevu, in Vanuelevu, in the western, in the eastern, in the central. Globally. Hallelujah. In Australia, in New Zealand, in England, in the United States of America. I believe that our God is there with you and listening and waiting for you just to believe and receive. Hallelujah. Because faith is something that can draw the power of God into your Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. We draw the power of God through faith. We can know the word. We can talk about the word. We can study the word. But faith is the very thing that pull the, the, the God of possibility to become Hallelujah. yours. It's the thing that materializes the supernatural to become natural. And that's why you can walk a supernatural person in the, in the pandemic effects that Hallelujah. we are going through just because you're serving a living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, we have, you know, we've come with you so far until today. And I believe that most of you, uh, since the program started, uh, you were, you know, totally sitting on a totally different level of faith or with a concept that you had. But now, you know, you've joined us to believe that this God is the God of impossible. Can do it. That he can do anything and can everything. Do it. And then as you were sitting there, don't ever think and don't ever uh, doubt this God. You need to believe. You need to have faith that he lives. Uh, you know, to believe that he's there. Like the very thing that you cannot see, you believe that he can bring it to pass. The very thing you look and you say to yourself, no, that cannot happen. You know, you need to believe that it can happen can uh, through him. Uh, because it says in Ephesians 3.20, he says, uh, according to his word, now to him uh, who works, you know, who works exceedingly and give you exceedingly, um, immeasurably, uh, the things that he can allow to you, not only to you, the things that you cannot imagine, the things that you, you know, uh, more than what you want, more than you can imagine, according to the power that he has given you. Which means that God has given you as the, the believer and us as believers, God has given us the power and the authority, his work within you for you to receive and believe that you can receive anything that is exceedingly beyond your imagination. And that is something that the, the world cannot explain. No. The world cannot explain and sometimes it's, it's foolish to them. Yes. The Bible says the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to those that don't believe. But to us, it is the power of God. Yes. And it brings salvation to those that believe. Yeah, because you can't explain faith. You can't uh, explain, you know, on how you can achieve that. Uh, for you to explain it in monetary value or the, to put a value to the faith that you have yes. and to bring that to pass. So in the secular world, like what I said, you, you, you need to find out, you need to have faith and say, you know, or to believe, oh, they're getting paid, yeah. you know, because of that money, that's why they get that. But for faith, uh, it's totally different. It's inexplainable. How can you explain to somebody if, uh, if somebody meets you and then bring, you know, like come and give you $10,000 or give you $20,000? How, how can, do you explain How that? can you explain? You know? How can you explain? Yeah, it, it's very hard to explain. And sometimes uh, it makes people, you know, say things that, 
Oh, you know, they're serving other things. They're doing other things. No, it's not a matter of serving any other thing. It's a matter of believing that this God can do it for you. How he can, can do it to anybody who believes. How can you explain the five loaves of bread to feed 5,000 men? Yeah. You cannot explain. That's believe. Jesus said, tell them to sit in 50s. Mm. That's it. And divide the bread. The bread multiply from the hand of the disciple. So the hands of the disciple, because they believe, then God used that hand. And God is using your hand. Yeah. And, and using your hand. And can use your God. hand if you believe. Yes. Only if you so believe. Whatever little that you have, you need to believe. You need to have faith that this God can do anything with the little things that you have in your hand. And that's why you need that uh, extra level of faith. Yes. We, we call it crazy faith. Hallelujah. It's so crazy to, to leave your job and come and work for the Lord. Hallelujah. How can you explain that? How can you pay the bill? How can you live for tomorrow? Yeah. How can you put them, the food on the table? Well, it takes crazy faith. When God said to Abraham, Abraham, get out of your nation, leave your people, Hallelujah. and leave your father's house. Go to a place that I will show you. Hallelujah. How can you explain that? I mean, they were living good, hallelujah, in, in uh, Haran, and that is Turkey today. Uh, and, and God bless him till today because he believed. Hallelujah. That's why they call him the father of faith. Amen. How can you believe that uh, a God will meet you in a desert? Hallelujah. When you live a good life, you, you live a life that is provided. Your father, your grandfather mm -hmm. works so much for you. Yeah. And the Bible says, Abraham, get out of your nation. Leave. Hallelujah. And it takes faith for 25 years. And he was, he, he was 99 when his son Isaac came. And that's another story. But I tell you, what we are trying to say this morning, your level of faith need to rise to another level. Yes. Your level of faith. And most of you tuning in today, you already believe in God. You know that there is a God. You know that... Uh, you know, you're attending a church, you belong to a denomination, you're already halfway there. But you just need to, you know, re-look at yourself, uh, check your heart, your heart has to be good. You know, one thing that automatically calls blessing into your life, good calls heart. provision into your home, uh, answer your prayer even before you, you say, say it. And just by thinking about it, and God answers that prayer, uh, that goes back to your good heart. So wherever you're sitting, we don't know how to do it. 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 You need to have a good heart. How do I, you know, get a good heart? Or how do I get myself to have a good heart? Uh, you need to come before God and ask God to help you with that. Like when you look at your enemies, say their names and pray to God to bless them. Only then, then you'll know you have a good heart. Because when you look at other people around you, you know, you can say it out when if you don't like anything and you embrace them because your heart is clear and your heart is ready to receive what God has for you. So just the condition of your heart uh, calls blessing to your life. And not only that, the condition of your heart, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, like what I said, we are all believing in God. We are praying to God. But most of us, no, we are very, um, you know, easily offended and little things that we don't like. And it's sort of like cloud your heart. You need to clear your heart. Unforgiveness. Bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. People, Jealousies. The people wrong to you. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they don't mean it. And if you're not clearing that, hallelujah, and yeah. that is something that becomes a yeah, barrier, an obstacle, eh? yeah, yeah. obstacle for the blessings of God to come over into your life. Amen. So that's why it's very, very important. Clear your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's achievable, my friend. Yeah. We are standing this morning in agreement as husband and wife to agree with you that you can receive it. Yes. You can receive it. You just need to believe in God. Believe, yeah. You need to trust in God. What he, Maybe the circumstances, the things that you are seeing, does not tell you the things that you need. Yeah. You, you, you need to look at God. Don't look at the problem. Yeah, you need to look at God. You, look, you need to look at God. See, David was not looking at Goliath. He was looking at his God. I mean, everybody was looking at Goliath. 
Oh, um, <laughs> what a man. I mean, he was, he was standing nearly 10 feet. But David was not looking at him. He was not, he was looking at his God. You come to me with all those things, the spear, you have your sword, you have everything, but I come to you in the name of my God. Today, I will kill you. Today, I will cut off your head yeah. from your body. So whatever giants that is facing you today, uh, no job, not enough money, lack of finance, a uh, problem, sickness, all kinds of sickness. Those are the giants that you are facing. Don't look at the giants. There are too many. You look at your God. Hallelujah. Because your God is supernatural. Your God is powerful. There's nothing that he cannot do. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I am the God of all mankind. Is anything that is too difficult for Amen. me to do. Hallelujah. So you need to have a good heart. You need to believe in your God. And you need to write and pen it with faith. I used to teach the church about writing, whatever that you're standing on God with, uh, whatever that you desire. It can be the normal writing of your home. It can be the normal food on the table daily. I write it down. When you pen mm. it, when you write it, you're actually telling God, I'm, I'm seri deadly serious. I'm, I'm serious. You know, I'm really serious. I believe in, in you. Mind. So you need to write it down. And, uh, you know, you may be like last Monday, I was uh, uh, teaching on the uh, leaders training for New Methodist. Um, there are certain bills that is due every month. It can be your rent, it can be payments for your car, it can be certain things, you know, uh, like uh, the generic bills that comes to you every month. So start writing down all those envelopes, empty though. Uh, write down, label them, and have them somewhere. And uh, every time you come to the Lord in prayer, every day, in the morning or in the night before you go to sleep, say, Lord, I fill those envelopes up. I believe that you're going to do that for me. I believe that you're going to do that for me. And, and that's faith, because you know that you don't know how God is going to do it. You don't want to know how he's going to do it, but you believe yeah, and you have faith. You need to take that step forward. You don't just say, oh, God knows what I need. I mean, he creates me. Uh, he can read my mind. He knows exactly what I'm sitting on. But you need to write it down to tell him or to show him that you are deadly serious. You know, Lord, I need this. I'm waiting on this one. Uh, I'll just bring, you know, uh, just an example to what we were doing here at, um, at my TV. We have these miracles to happen that happens yeah. every Wednesday, Wednesday and every Saturday uh, yeah. that we invite uh, church leaders from other denominations uh, that come in and pray for our nation or pray for the people that actually call in and uh, look after that program for us. And it's like a one hour uh, program. Yeah. So when that initially started, we decided to uh, uh, gift them with an envelope of uh, $200 and three chicken. Uh, it's like I tell, na, na, in Fiji, it's like the Italian evil now, you know, meaning like they've, they've come to do something. They've come to do something mm -hmm. for God and uh, through this platform. So we cannot allow them to go without okay. saying thank you. So it's like a thank you to them. And we decided to do that since the program started. And it's just amazing how God has been. Hallelujah. Working. And when it started, we used to take it out from our till and, uh, you know, kept on going, kept on going. And uh, I, I used to tell the ladies in the office for Louie and Night, and I said, I'm waiting on the day that this program will run on its own, which means that it's not going to use the money from the church. It's not going to use any money uh, that's going TV. to be here. It's going to run on its own. Like, it's going to run on its own. How uh, that's possible, I believe. You know, I'm sharing this because you'll also, you know, have your own list. Hallelujah. It can be different from mine. I'm Please. sharing this, you know, on this platform. And um, last week, the week after, I came in and I told uh, the ladies, uh, Auntie Luisa, look after that uh, uh, logistics for us. So I turned to her and I said, uh, get the, the roster and write the envelope and leave the envelope in the till. Um, you know, it, it may sound, sound and crazy. look crazy, crazy, but that's crazy. You need to be crazy. <laughs> um, and then write it down. And on that particular Thursday, I was still in my office. No, it was on a Friday, Friday right. afternoon. Then I had Jack, Jack uh, from our finance division, uh, walked in and then he actually placed a queen bag on my on my table. I looked at him and I said, uh, where's this money from? And then he said, no, I was, uh, I was just being told to pick it up and drop it off with you. So I look at the, the wool remit on the Empire Star receipt. It, it had $505. And without the cake to do the program, uh, to buy the chicken and also the 200 envelope each, it comes to $502. Plus the cake is $542, which the cake has already been paid for. Who would have ever known that the cake has already been paid for? Only God will do that. So he placed the envelope, the coin bag, 
And because he couldn't tell me what is it for, so I, I vibed uh, his EM and asked uh, this money, what is it for? For fuel or for something? And then she said, no, uh, this is little girl. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you, Susanna Faith. Her name is Susanna Faith Rimet, all the way from Griffiths in Australia. Thank you. And then she said, uh, Susanna and her mom, uh, send that money across to for the, the miracles to happen or for the Talinivu now on Saturday. And I came out and, as, and asked Lou, Lou, uh, where's those two envelopes empty? We have written the envelope in the week. God provided on Friday. Hallelujah. Miracles to happen is on Saturday. It was an empty envelope. Empty envelope. So it filled up the two two hundred dollars. It bought the chicken and the cake, and then it was normal. But you know, the miraculous thing that happened on that particular Saturday, we've had this program, um, you know, way back, weeks yeah. back. Out Too of much. all, yeah, out of all those Saturdays, this particular one, um, the, you know, the, the pastor the who was uh, rostered right. to actually be part of the program or to co-host the show, uh, he came in. I wasn't here. I was not feeling well. I was at home. And then I saw the update later. One of those rostered um, a pastors from a different denomination, um, on his way out, he said, thank you, Auntie Teresa. Uh, thank you to the Lomb and Dunn family. Thank you so much. Uh, so Pastor Dan um, came and gave uh, their offering, their family offering. Uh, he said he has been reminded by his wife uh, to drop the family offering as they sit to my TV. And you know how much it was? It was $2,000. So we filled the envelope for $200, believing, but God worked, you know, further than that. And not only that, he's actually telling us, I'm going to look after the program. Hallelujah. The other days is going to come. So that actually took us until the next Wednesday, and it's still there. By yesterday, uh, we were in the office on, Saturday, on, uh, on Friday. I was sitting in the office on Friday, and then I was uh, telling the ladies, okay, uh, tomorrow we were talking about the miracles to happen. But one thing God did this particular week, I took the ladies out on, on Wednesday morning before the fasting program started. I took them out for breakfast, and uh, we were having breakfast, and then I looked at my money and said, okay, I have some little money that I can go and uh, buy biscuits and something for you know, the stock for my TV. So I told the ladies, we'll go and get some stuff for the office. So we came and we did a little bit of shopping. Uh, one of them came back earlier. And by the time we reached the cashier and just when we were leaving, I only had $10 left. And that $10 left, the Lord burdened me uh, to look to the cashier. And the lady who was, thank you, uh, helping us packing uh, to bless them with. So that was the last of my money. And we came, came back to the office, sat in my office, and Melinda came, we were having our meeting, and I saw Louis uh, popping in every now and then. Uh, soon after that, she came in and she said, uh, this is couple who came and they were wanting to see you, but you were in a meeting. And uh, she had an envelope with her. And then she said, uh, they, came, they wanted to see you, but they gave this envelope. When I look at the envelope, it was written at the top, $2,000. And uh, thank you, Ngase Rosero and Auntie Ili. And I called the lady uh, because the number there was a telephone number in the envelope. And I said, thank you so much. You know, like even on the brink of having nothing and spending everything, God still worked, you know, towards other things that you might haven't even thought on how to look after. So I'm sharing these things with you that you need to be serious to write it down Hallelujah. and believe. Uh, it can be, you know, the money is insignificant. The amount, maybe you may be saying, oh, it's only $10, only $20, only $50 bill. Or the electricity is only $100. No matter what the amount, write them down in blank envelopes because you're penning it with faith and you commit it to the Lord. You'll be amazed and you'll be surprised Hallelujah. how God does it. Don't, don't bother to think how God is going to do it because that's his job. Leave him to do his. All you, all you need to do is believe and have faith that he can do it. And I believe uh, those two, 2,000, those two, 2,000, which is 4,000, it, it, it came because of your faith. Yes, yeah. I believe that yeah, you have faith. It came before faith, your yeah. faith. And uh, just to clarify, uh, because a lot of people will be watching, when we have two senior pastors, for those of you that watch uh, uh, Miracles Do Happen, happen. when somebody sits on my right and somebody sits on my left, that means three chicken this side, three chicken this side, $200 this side and $200 this side. That's for the Talibu now on one day. So you have about uh, um, uh, 12 chicken on one week. One week. 12 chicken. And that means about $800. $200, $200, $400 on Wednesday and $400 on Saturday. I'm just saying, uh, trying to share this in detail, just like it's written in the Bible. Five loaves of bread and two fish. It's written for you when you do your arithmetic 
you will come to a place that you even your mind cannot calculate Alleluia. that even your, your your physical thinking your wisdom and your knowledge cannot cannot uh, uh, comprehend what god can do that's why the holy spirit revealed to me that some people that you are watching you 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 take the worshiping of god very lightly Amen. You need to take it very seriously because yes. this God is just too you serious. You can do exceedingly yes. anything for yes. you. Yes, it's, it's very too serious. I remember yes. when she was talking about, write it down, Elijah, our son, our youngest uh, a child, he wrote down four by four when he was in class uh, uh, class oh. two or your class two. He wrote down four by four. Hallelujah. He wrote down yes. four by four. We were planning to buy our... Our first for, vehicle? Yeah. First for our what? first vehicle. And because then, our, our, yeah. our car was very small. small. Yeah. And yeah, we had our uh, old car uh, that was very small. Yes. So we were looking Pine for something big Excel. because we had uh, four children. And uh, we used to have this service at the Toka Toka Resort before. Uh, that's way back in Nandi. And every time during the, uh, the church service, we'll carry out the box, and it's a prayer box, and everybody uh, are invited to write their list and take it to the box, and that happens every Sunday. And uh, we were in the process of applying for the loan. I, I think it yes. was three quarter done uh, with BSP, and it was finalized on a, on a different car, a totally different car. And it's amazing how God works. But uh, for Elijah, every time he, he puts a piece of paper into the box, he will always write four, four by four. Because you always four. see the back of this car that has the cover of the tie at the back, and it's written there four times four, four the, you know, it's a four wheel. And uh, he'll always write that. And I'll always speak to him. I didn't want to tell him, you know, we cannot afford that. I didn't want to be the voice of doubt. <laughs> but I see that and I just leave it. So whenever we are lining up, I check the list and we're all lining up to put the, uh, the piece of paper into the prayer box. And it's amazing. Uh, before the loan was finalized, uh, the loan it's officer changing. all the way from Samabula called. And then uh, she said, I know that you people apply for this car and everything and it's all ready to go. But there is a four-wheel drive. If you want, I can organize the same thing too because you are eligible for that. Hallelujah. I mean, how God works. We didn't even look for it or go out, out you know, to get it. But he did it for us. And that four-wheel drive is still here. And uh, that's still with uh, Talagas Takayawa all the way in um, Lambasa. And it's amazing how God does that. So for you, for you to write. When Gasile was sharing, and then I just remembered, uh, thank you to the Banovia family all the way from Hallelujah. England in Europe. Thank you. On that particular Wednesday, when we came back from that uh, breakfast, um, after that $2,000 cash uh, that was delivered, then I read on the Viber, um, Gasile was posted on our family comes to say, uh, to a share family. with us a family all the way from all England. All the way from England. Uh, Pastor Ba and Auntie Rossi, uh, thank you to all the girls. Thank you very much for your sitting. And uh, the message goes to say, this is your order number, uh, Green Pasture, I believe, yeah. uh, is the name of the company that will be delivering to you. And exactly on, I think it was on Thursday or Wednesday afternoon, Six chicken, number 15 chicken, uh, was delivered to Lot 3, Sikolo Road in Lodala Beach Estate. And that six chicken, the only thing that we needed to do, uh, marinate them and drop it off at the hot bread in uh, Raiwanga. It cost me $3 each. So six chicken, uh, there was a Tali Nivuna on Friday, only cost us $18. And uh, even the chicken was seated all the way from England. How did that happen? I from, don't know how it happened. From Sweden Hallelujah. to Fiji. From Fiji to Turek in Suba. Because of faith. Hallelujah. I tell you, faith is the substance. Things hope for the elements of, of things oh. you cannot see. The things that you cannot see, it's faith. They'll put it on your face. And people will see what you've been seeing because of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you go back to the four wheel, after that four wheel that we invest in because of Elijah's wish, after that, a rugby player bless us with a twin cap. And our friend bless us with another twin cap. Just a four by four by a young boy so many years. In 2000, 2005, we start yeah. to receive. What God can do? We are sharing this because sometimes you doubt God. You go to church, yes. but you doubt God. You need to believe him. You need to believe that he exists because he is the rewarder. Reward does not mean that uh, it's uh, the same amount. No. The reward is the amount that is uh, appropriate, Amen. is fitting. Hallelujah. For your work and your faith. If your faith is big, the reward will be big. Hallelujah. If your reward, if your faith is less, then the reward will be less. Your community when you want about the clue. Uh you want to come like like this morning, Gasile was praying over, thank you, uh, to the Tiko family. Uh, you know, praying over what is seated. So 
you know, you may have something there with you or through the Holy Spirit will burden you uh, for you to, to sit. To sit to your church. If you belong to any denomination, Oh, I have no money. Oh, I'm lacking this. I'm lacking that. No. Don't look at yourself and begin to moan and groan of, of your situation. No. You say to yourself, no. I am gifted. I am talented. I am bold. I am, you know, I am able. You are able. Because God has given you the spirit. Hallelujah. And that spirit of boldness within you, you need to look out and never stop giving. Look for opportunity where to, to sit. I used to teach New Methodist then, and it's still, you know, the message is still there. I look for things to be your activator. You can be a praying for a job, praying for a promotion, or praying for something big that is out there in front of you, or looking at the impossible, is you know, you're challenging yourself. That can happen. Well, if that can happen, if you want it so badly to happen, look for look activators. For activator. Look for something that you can see it, uh, that can and activate the thing to come to you. Or look for, you know, there is two. One is activator. You're actually punting or sitting and you're activating it for this thing to happen. The things that you cannot see, the things that you cannot believe can happen. And then there is another seed of sustainer seed. The sustaining seed is like, you give something to God or your seed to your church or to your denomination, wherever you belong to. It's his duty to look after you. As long as you do your part to come before God and tell God, I trust you with my giving. I trust you with my heart. I trust you with everything about me. Look, when this God look after you, nothing, nothing can ever stand before you and not to even stop you. No, because God is on your side and God is doing everything for you because there's no limit oh, to what you can get. Man. There's no limit to what you can achieve. No, there's no limit. You know, people will look, a lot of people, and I know you may be one of the ones who are listening in today. You know, you begin to think, they have a lot of money. No, we don't have a lot of money. Maybe a millionaire is looking after them. Maybe we serve a God that is alive. You our God is greater yes. than a millionaire. Yes. Our God is greater That's than any. God. It's your there God. There is a God that is Hallelujah. available to you. You need to believe in Through him. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am yes. the life. No one comes to the Father. Hallelujah. That Father is the sustainer and is the source of all our resources. Yes. When we seek him, we'll find him. Oh, hallelujah. Because he is God. Yes. And I want to talk on the, the seeding part. Yeah? Okay. Because uh, that's what happened to the miracles to happen. Uh, I thank my wife for the big heart. Hallelujah. Um, I used to be have a, a small Mama spirit. Mama heart. <laughs> Mama heart. Yeah, that's a uh, real name. Mama Gihat. It's, it's got a mingy heart. Hallelujah. And I I met this woman with a with a very big heart. So when we start the miracles to happen, this is just one of the many 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 testimonies of uh, her giving. And she said, um, w one person, normally two. One person to have three chicken and two hundred dollars as a talibu now. Hallelujah. And what we are hearing today, what we are hearing today, just because somebody, somebody have a seed and drop it to the ground. In the law of harvest, until that seed drop to the ground and dead, consider does not belong to you. Then the plants will come Amen. with fruits. With that fruit, hundred and thousand seed is available again. Amen. So we will continue to receive. We, we can't help it because our seed. We are blessing the people of God that are coming here. Amen. Some of them, they head churches. They have anointing. God called them Amen. to start ministries. Yeah, and we are blessed to Hallelujah. Them. And we are so blessed. Uh, kingdom. I mean, all the opportunity for yeah. them to come here. And when we came, when they came here to come and pray for the nation, oh, we will not allow them. We will not allow them to walk past. Yes. We will grab the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, last night I was reading about Abraham when he saw the, the visitors walking by. And he said, you be, please, please, please come. Just have a rest. The, uh, it's, the sun is too hot. So he prepared cake, ask uh, uh, the family to... Uh, to Wife Sarah. To, uh, Sarah to, uh, to prepare uh, a, a, a cake and also uh, a young tender meat for them. Hallelujah. 
Of course, he will receive blessing after blessing after blessing. Amen. It's after that, then God told him, Abraham, look to the sky. Amen. Your descendant will be like stars in the sky and will be like a uh, yeah, of sin. It's an encouragement to those of you that are tuning in this morning. Uh, like what you know, we've been sharing. Uh, look out to your neighborhood. There are other families that are suffering. The widows. Well. Um, the you poor. know, the widows, the orphans. The orphans. There are some fa family, the, the, you know, they're separated, the, the uh, parents, and they're on their own. I don't request a rambula to get Sandra, a rangandreva to Nambula. Now, Bobani Kakana may valley, a cola beer, but let that be only food that they're eating. Say, Kolakabango is so that I got to one sala, a so random between one sala, a so and a kite to weekend, the Kendaroni was saying that the kid, you know, Mendaroni. Mm -hmm. That maybe we're seeking. So uh, try and um, and teach yourself to live a life of giving. And uh, since this uh, my TV started when we came in 2016, 16. I believe, and there, uh, that was way back in September 2016. Uh, I was burdened. I, um, my husband used to come and buy my lunch, and I used to be sitting down there, and, and we just started. Uh, we were on the downstairs office. And I think on the second day, I told him, no, don't buy my lunch. And he said, why? I said, I feel bad eating because the smell of the food, you can't stop it. And then the whole office sitting there. And I feel bad eating knowing that it's lunchtime. And even though it's lunchtime, yeah, uh, I mean, everybody has got Supposed their own. Supposed to bring your yeah. lunch. And uh, I just felt that I cannot eat um, considering that there are other people around. So from that day, then I ask him, if you're buying my lunch, then you have to buy the whole office lunch. So I start buying everybody's lunch. <laughs> so it's like, uh, Hallelujah. when we started, it's like uh, 13, 14, 16 um, uh, stuff. And at one time, well, now we've grown to 20, I uh, know, 30. I think my daughter is, has been doing 36, uh, 36 serves. Yeah. Uh, when New Methodist is not fasting. So it's 37 serves. So from 2016, now it's 2020. Uh, not a day missed except only for the weekend. Uh, we provide, we cook from home. And there can be Talinivo now where he goes and preach or, uh, you know, uh, people bring home. And we use the same food to, to cook and uh, feed uh, uh, my TV. So we provide uh, lunch to my TV to uh, from 2016 now to today, uh, from Monday to Friday. So for us, it's uh, an opportunity to seed. An opportunity to give, an opportunity to share. Uh, COVID or no COVID, you know, it doesn't change it uh, until today. Or if, if we have to fly overseas and we'll be out sure for somebody. one week or two weeks, no, it doesn't change. Even if the whole family, uh, I think last December, the whole family were in New Zealand uh, for about uh, two, two and a half weeks. It doesn't change anything. Uh, we'll have to find a way to get that meal to be here. So... Look for an opportunity out there for you, for you to look out and to see it. I see Australia, I see, um, you know, uh, New, Zealand, New Zealand, and there's a lot of local uh, zones. I, I, I've noticed that on the comms, on how you people are going off your way uh, to visit. visit the poor and share uh, the meals that you have. You know, it, it doesn't need to be something big, but something in your heart, and you know that God has blessed you with, and you, and you look at another yeah. person and say, you know, uh, I'm blessed, and I want you to be blessed as well. So it's no longer about the color, about the ethnic uh, group, it's about no longer about the race, uh, no longer about the denomination. Religion. So don't just look out. We can do the new Methodist. Kako ni kubuki ringa the new Methodist. No, we react. It's on go, it's on go. Ringa ndraba tu na bula, ndraba tu na kakan. It's on a kaya bo mai vale. No, it's only back on the village in the can. It's on a kaya bo tu go. We react, we select because the kingdom economics totally opposite. You need to share everything that you have. Kingdom economics. You are the last person. God comes first. Others later, then you. You are the very last. Because when you do the first and you do the second, God look after you, which is the last point for you. And you need to believe that. You need to trust in that. So today, as we're coming to the end of the program, according to the minister we uh, only left, I pray that, you know, you will yeah. find something in you for you to desire uh, that God can do anything and everything for you. And I just want to share one testimony, if I have to pull from the a testimony that had ha happened before. I shared about the miracles to happen. That was just last week mm -hmm. and uh, this week. I'll share this particular one. We were in uh, America. We went in uh, December 2016. There was a cyclone. I can't really remember that cyclone. It was just a uh, low depression. And uh, we had a team of about uh, 20 plus uh, leaders that we took to Santa Rosa for that uh, uh, leaders boot camp. And um, as we were going, we had uh, this particular couple that I want to share, Atalanga Singimboni, who's all the way in uh, Israel uh, at the moment, uh, serving with the um, uh, military. And then we have uh, his dear wife. Uh, they were nurses in Wunindawa, uh, right here in Etasiri. 
And uh, we were going, you know, dips and reps. Uh, whoever can get on the flight to go because the flight sometimes uh, was not going because of a strong wind. There was uh, something happening in Fiji and then. Uh, either it was a cyclone or it was, uh, you know, just a depression. And uh, when we went, I actually, uh, because Maggie was staying back, I, I was going with Aslante Antonio, uh, who works with me. So I told Maggie, and I said, Maggie, there is an operating cost for my TV and it's going to be due. Uh, just hold it until I return. And when we went, and I told Maggie, if, if it's urgent, then you start paying the bill. I've got about $3,000 in that uh, card for you to, to clear the bill. And we traveled, we went. When we were there in Santa Rosa, uh, and I was calling, the only couple left was the Giboni couple. So I called and, and said, what's happening? And then they said, oh, the bridge, we can't cross over the bridge. We're really stuck here, flooded. And I said, how much money do you have? And I said, our tickets is good, but uh, this place is late in uh, releasing the fund for our tickets. And I said, okay, how much money do you have on you? Just go to, straight to headquarters, go and see Maggie and Chavez. Chavez was here then. Uh, pass on whatever money that you have. And I need you to get on the flight. Find your way down to Nandi. Find your way down to Nandi. And uh, I called Chavez. I called my, Maggie, made all the arrangements. And I said to myself, Lord, I'm sitting on a need, but... I believe that you will do this. Hallelujah. And I'm sharing this because I believe you are sitting on a need, but God is there to listen to you today. And um, it happened. They came and they flew across. Uh, that's another testimony. They came with just a three quarters and, you know, the only clothes that they have on their body. And on the final night of our uh, leaders' boot camp in Santa Rosa, on that particular night, as I was standing at the, at the altar, and I said, Lord, you know, I helped this couple to come all the way, and the experience that they are experiencing today, I will not be able to do that for them or no any other opportunity. This is the only time. But I'm returning, and we are flying back, you know, the day after tomorrow. You, you need to look after the bill back at home for me, because I've used the money that is there uh, to help them to come across. I stood at the altar, we finished, he prayed, and everything was done. Uh, we came and sat. As soon as I came and sat down, and we were about to have a refreshment, uh, thank you, Talanga Sisi Ranronro. I have this uh, Talanga Sisi, she came, she sat beside me, and then she said, um, Auntie Rai, I've been uh, burdened by the Holy Spirit to give this to you, to help you with my TV. And, uh, and I said, thank you. And I said, you know, nobody else knew what I was standing at the altar, but God knew. Uh, nobody else, not even my husband. I didn't tell anybody, but only God knew. And he, she gave me that envelope. And uh, after she left, when I went uh, back to the hotel, and I opened that envelope, it had $5,000 UK, um, USA. Yes. So that $5,000, when you change it, it comes to $10,000 uh, $10, of Fijian. That actually meet uh, the operating costs on that a particular month as I return. So your need can be different from mine, mm. but you need to believe, you need to receive. You need to look around and know that this God is there for you. Hallelujah. And don't ever lose hope. You'll be saying or telling us today, oh, we've prayed, we've uh, uh, served God for all this long. We can't seem to see anything. No, try him again. And I need you to try him again. And I need you to refresh your love for him. I need you to believe in him again. Oh, believe in him once it. more uh, today. So as we come to the end of the program, I will just pray with us today. Hallelujah. Father, I just commit to Father, yes, the lives so. of the many that Father, you know their needs, you know their heart, you know their list, you know, oh Father, whatever that they've been crying out to you, Father, from that time until today. Lord, I pray and I commit them to you. Maybe some of Father are rent, some are mortgage, some are bills to be paid, and some of their business, oh Father, they don't know how to operate it again, it's coming to a close. Father, I pray and I commit them to you. Promotion in their workplaces, oh Father. We receive that breakthrough, oh Father, in their lives, breakthrough in their finances, oh Father. Breakthrough in the property that they want to buy. Amen. Breakthrough in the property that they want Lord to sell. Asata. Breakthrough in the cars that they want to yes, buy. Lord. Breakthrough in the cars of Father that they want Thank to sell. Jesus. We call things as though they were. Amen. Lord, and we end, our oh, Father, this uh, a session with you this morning as we come in agreement, believing and receiving Amen. all these things, oh Lord. Because we believe that you Amen. are God. Some of them are, oh, Father, looking for people to rent their place or to help Lord them in their Asata. home. Father, we call things as Thank though they are. Jesus. You will bring the best Thank because you Jesus. are the greatest God ever. Amen. Lord, we pray. And we believe, according to the truth of your word in Romans 4, 17, the one who calls the dead alive, that oh, that calls things that are not as though they are. We call those things, Father, as though they are. And we receive them today. We pray that prayer. We receive our Father believing today. Receive we it. believe the unbeliever. Receive it. And we receive the impossible. It. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we praise God for this morning. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Wherever you are. It's oh, time hallelujah. Thank God. Yeah. If you're in a worship center zone, go to the altar. It's thank a time you. to end. And as we say goodbye from here, we say thank you very much, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for meeting your people. Yes.
the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, have a blessed day. So we give him the glory and the honor and the praise. Two, three. Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit we, we thank, thank you in Jesus' name. name. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord to God, God be, be the glory forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. From us here, from the studio, the team, from my television, to Reckon Shuba, we say, God bless you. Have a wonderful yeah. Sunday. See you next Sunday. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are watching the God of Our Nation program, Against All Odds, Kingdom Economics. Trust God with your life and share the little you have for others to live. The righteous shall live by faith. In the past few months, our beloved nation had to endure the global pandemic COVID-19 and the aftermath of Tropical Cyclone Herald. In spite of it all, we choose to make a difference where we can. Whether it's traveling south to Kandavu Island to help affected families rebuild their lives, some of whom had nothing but the clothes on their back and a pitch tent for shelter, or visiting frontline personnel who worked tirelessly away from their families so we could be safe and sound with our loved ones. Whether we assisted our town councils and communities with charity work of any kind, or simply saved meals and items we would throw away to share with people on our streets and those who worked tirelessly through the nights. Help give and share with faith the little that you have to people around you. From those you just walk by every day to neighbors who silently struggle to put a meal on their table, the smallest things can make the biggest impact. Stay tuned to this episode as we learn more about Kingdom Principles Against All Odds. God, according to His Word, will meet your every need. Hallelujah. You are worrying because you are serving a God you do not know. If you know this God, then you know what we are talking Amen. about from this platform. He is a God against all odds. Which means that whatever that you're going through today, He is your God. You may be sickness, it may be financial loss, it may be any other things uh, that have been challenging your life today, or whatever odds that you're sitting on, I would like you to believe and receive today that He is that God against all odds.